CYC is a free channel that presents the Word of God for everyone. Your support will help us to continue the mission. Visit our website, cycnow.com. Even a dollar will make a difference. Welcome back to another episode. Today's episode is about the, the saint, Saint Sarah the Nun. In this story, Saint Sarah lived in a family, a very nice Christian family, and they believed in God and everything was great. But she read a lot of saint stories. So all the stories that mom and dad read to you about Saint Anthony and Saint George, she used to love them especially the ones from our fathers. So those who were monks who lived in deserts. So where is the desert? The desert is a far, far away place in Egypt with lots of sand and it's really, really hot. And these monks would go alone far, far away without people, without sound, without technology, with no phones, nothing at all. And they would sit in a small area and it would just be them and God. Can you imagine living all by yourself for many, many years in hot weather and there's no food and there's no water and you'd have to work every day to find those things. So Sarah, she really, really loved that and she wanted to do the same. So when she read all these stories, she began to work in the church and she would do a lot of praying and she would help set up the church and clean the church. And then one day, she decided to leave home and go to the monastery. So she left and she lived her own life far, far away in the desert with no technology, no phones, no water, no anything at all. All by herself. It was just her and God. And then the devil saw this and he was amazed. He was like, what? Can you imagine a girl going by herself in the desert? and having such a great time all by herself, the devil said, no, I can't do that. I have to do something about this. I need, to, I need to think of a great idea to get this girl to fall. And she was really, really beautiful. She had nice eyes and beautiful hair. She was amazing. So the devil said, that's it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make her fall into lust. What is lust? Lust means that when somebody looks really, really, really pretty, that they fall in love with this person and what they look like, and it's very unpure. So this is what the devil decided to do. He decided to give her lots of good looking guys and boys, young boys that looked really, really nice. And he said, she's gonna leave God for one of these boys, I'm sure. And what did Sarah do? She prayed and prayed and asked for God to strengthen her. And she said, I will not fall for these temptations. I will not go after these boys. You are my God. You are my only person. You are my king. So after many, many prayers and after the devil kept trying and trying. And again, remember, Sarah's in the desert all by herself. There's nobody to talk to. No water, no food, nothing. It was just her and God and the devil. So she kept praying and praying and insisting to overcome. After 50 years of praying, she overcame and became a martyr in the desert. And she was moved back to Upper Egypt and was buried. So that is our story. And the lesson of this story is that no matter what temptations we face, no matter how big or how small, if we pray and ask God to help us overcome, we can and we will through Christ. Now let's take the verse. So let's open our Bibles to Proverbs 29:23. So if we read, it says, "A man's pride will bring him low, 
but the humble in spirit will return in honor. So let's read this again. A man's pride will bring him low, but the humble in spirit will retain an honor. So let's take this one by one and let's understand what this means. A man's pride will bring him low. So we must not let pride come before us. Let us not think that, oh yes, I'm beautiful, I'm all this, I'm so good at sports, I'm so good at uh, singing, I'm so good at drawing or coloring. We are good because God made us good. So let's not tell other people and be all excited. We can be excited, but let's not be overexcited that we did this, but it's God who gave us these gifts. So that's pride. And then it says, but the humble in spirit will retain an honor. So what does this mean? When we are humble, when we say, yeah, we're good, but we're not gonna tell everybody that we're good, and they see our works, that's when God will reward us because we were humble and we will be honored. So now we're gonna start with the question about today's lesson about Saint Sarah the nun. The question is, what did Saint Sarah do when she fell into temptation? Again, what did St. Sarah do when she fell into temptation? Thank you, and we'll see you next time.